The day Hollywood came to Coat Bridge. My name is Mark Miller. I'm president of the Miller World Division at Netflix in Los Angeles. The comic book writer's work includes The Avengers, Civil War, Kick-Ass and Kingsman. Now the Scot has invested in what he thinks is the future for Scottish football, robotic cameras. With supporters not allowed to attend matches because of the coronavirus, the lifelong Albion Rovers fan took matters into his own hands, spending £15,000 on a system which will enable the club to stream matches live. I think anything can become a phenomenon if it's interesting and there's something just so charming about this. Like, I mean, like I say, I, I work in Los Angeles, I, m my head's on a lot of different things, but I think about Albion Rovers, you know, it's in, it's in the back of my mind, in the middle of a global pandemic. So there's a charm, there's something about this that's just magical. We've already talked about that we're going to live stream games. We can also use the equipment for video analysis. So if Brian, who's our manager, wants to focus on a particular player um, or a particular position, the technology enables us to do that, so it's really transformational for a club like us. The automated technology uses advanced production algorithms and a network of cameras tracking play to generate match footage. Up to 24 clubs are expected to deploy the system this season. We are known for having a quite a big Norwegian supporters club. Uh, over 100 Norwegians who support us and have done for over 20 years. This means this, they can now live stream our games on a Saturday afternoon. I've got cousins in Canada, Australia and New Zealand. First thing they do when they come here is they want a pie, they want a square sausage and they want to see an Albion Rovers game. <laughs> and now they can do it from Taronga. You know, they can just sit back and, and watch these games. A new app is also being piloted. This will allow referees to connect with supporters by giving them information about the match. Everything just takes a matter of seconds to go through, yellow card a player, put in the reason and issue it. And that will go out to everyone It can auto-tweet for the clubs that can put out the social media at that level and at all levels of the game. Technology, with the help of a superfan, is playing its part in keeping fans connected during the pandemic.